Hey guys and gals, before I start this video, I have an announcement to make. You can now join my memberships program for my YouTube channel. I just finished managing them the other day, and today I'm formally announcing that I have established three tiers which you can check out by clicking the join button. I won't go through them in this video, but let me know if you have any questions about them. And as always, please like this video before we start. I know, I know, I'm talking too much, so without further ado... This is not my story, but rather my aunt's story. I'm very close with my cousin, and as a single child, I feel like he is my brother. As a kid, I would always be dropped off at my cousin's house when my parents couldn't find someone to babysit. That was also true with my cousin. With that being said, I felt like my cousin's mom, or my aunt, is my second mom. She worked as a caretaker and absolutely adores her family. I guess what I'm trying to say is that she would not make anything up or joke about something that is serious with me or my cousin. Well, this is her story. Years ago, she, her older cousin, also someone I have never met before, as we are not directly related and two friends were having a girls' night. We will call my aunt's older cousin, Melissa, for simplicity. It was just a normal night as they began drinking, watching movies, and just in general, chatting. They were all in the living room, sitting on the couch with a table in front of them. After hours of spending time together, and about to crash for the night. One of her friends leaves the living room and comes back minutes later with a Ouija board. These are boards that can supposedly communicate with the deceased and the afterlife. Anyways, they start playing around with it, not knowing exactly how to use it, and simply just asking random questions such as Will I marry someone handsome and rich? Or does someone have a crush on me? That was when the friend who brought the Ouija board begins asking more serious questions about demons and ghouls. This goes on for a while until the other friend gets scared and tells her to stop. Fortunately, she does. After the whole Ouija board scare, None of them could sleep, even though they were pretty tipsy. So instead, they decide to watch some kind of rom-com movie and forget about the whole thing. Then, apparently, one of her friends dropped a plate on the floor. When she bent down to pick it up, she turned pale and faced Melissa. The rest of them looked at the friend and asked her what happened. She trembled and replied, There, there are legs uh, under the table. All of them bent down and looked underneath it, and all swore they could see a pair of legs there. I know what you're thinking. They're all drunk or tipsy. They were probably just imagining the legs. But, it doesn't just end there. They all looked at each other, not exactly knowing what to do. They began talking about it, and eventually decided that it was just their imagination. There was no way there could be a person or thing underneath the table during the whole time they were there. It was probably just jeans left underneath the table and thought to be legs. 
After a while, Melissa gets up from the couch and excuses herself to the washroom. She leaves for about 15 minutes when, all of a sudden, the girls in the living room hear the deep man's muffled voice in the direction of the bathroom, followed by Melissa's horrifying scream. All the girls run towards the bathroom, thinking that maybe there was an intruder that managed to get into the well-secured house. When they all got there, they see Melissa lying on the bathroom ground, crying her eyes out. This story happened a very long time ago, but since that night, my aunt claims that her older cousin, Melissa, has mentally and spiritually left this world. What she means is that Melissa has never been the same since. Her happy-go-lucky attitude has been replaced by a hollow core. She would zone out occasionally and speak to herself. She would find mundane and ordinary things extraordinary. At first, I was hesitant to believe her story thinking that she could trick me since I was so young when she told me. But I have spoken to my cousin about that story, and he admits that it's true. One time, one of the friends had visited my aunt while my cousin was there. The friend and my cousin ended up talking for a bit while my aunt stepped outside. During the conversation, the topic of supernatural and surreal things was brought into it. And my cousin, being a smartass, casually mentioned the story. My aunt's friend, without hesitation, backed it up. Another time, my cousin had to go to a family celebration and he had the opportunity to meet Melissa. One of his cousins from the other side of the family was getting married, and they were getting together to celebrate and catch up with each other. According to my cousin, Melissa sat in the corner of the kitchen, not looking at anyone. She held something in her hands, as if it was the most amazing thing in the whole world, but my cousin couldn't find out what it was. She was very thin, and looked like she wasn't really there. Even when other family members went up to her and spoke to her, she seemed like she was mentally out of the world. Since then, he has never seen her, and her personal life has become somewhat obscured. My aunt wouldn't say anything more about the story, and would just say there is nothing left to say, because she said it all. I wish I could gather more evidence myself, but this is all I have to go on.